this, this Joe Fred and his worms on. So just on a flapping trace, yeah. I just bring the worm, bring the hook out, turn it over once. No bait stops required because it's a, a flapping trace, so yeah. theory. And it just grips the bait a bit better. Yeah, so it's yeah. a little loop out of line outside the That's worm. Yeah. And it just holds it, grips it yeah, on yeah. A, bit, a bit more. Yeah, nice straight worm. I take the ends off. Yeah. Um, I just want that section. There's not many fish here. We're only fishing for small fish. Yeah. Just want the nice section with the guts yeah, yeah. in it. And, yeah. You know, okay. and, and bait pre presentation. That's what, the one thing I've learned from filming these matches, bait presentation is it, is it all, you know? Yeah, you're, you're slightly limited with, with lug worm. Yeah. But yeah, it's um, different things. You've got to look at it. You want a nice, I think you want a nice piece of the, the worm and, yeah. a, and a decent hook. Um, these are put hanging out of the bait as well. You, know, you put a, a big yeah. bait on a small hook. Um, so are they size twos? Are they size twos? Yeah, they're a saltwater champion. All right. And they're very bass. I'll just turn that and then. Yeah. Okay. That was another teammate of ours years ago, Dan Wood. I think he yeah. showed me that. So we just put it on. The theory is. is when that's going through the, through the air, it's going that way, so mm. the wind is pushing and the yeah. tide is pushing the bait to the surface. But then there's a nice bit of not masking at the point at all. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah. And along the bottom, the bottom there, we'll probably go for a, a live lug, a, a fresh out, ungutted all right. um, lug worm, just to see if there's a bass there on the, on the bottom hook. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, so yeah. Let's, let's see how you hook your into same, your line. Same sort of way with this, but sometimes I don't come out with these. Yeah. Because um, you don't want them bursting early, do you really? Try not to, no, no, that's the thing. You want to try and keep as much in there as you can. And what you can do is um, cotton the end on, so you could cut and, cotton the guts on. Yeah, yeah. Um, but um, some people would use a baiting needle with this, would be a bit easier. Hmm. So there, that's just come out there. So I'll just take that through. The, these have been in water for a couple of days. Right. And the only thing is, see the guts started to go watery yeah so when they're they're first dug then that would that would be what what you want yeah what i would do there is leave that or, or whip that back up, up yeah. the line a little bit there but again even with the pressure we've still got a nice bit of yeah hook point there so we'll leave it out of the rain all right and cool can see so that's that's how joe uh, bakes his worm so it's slightly different to the tony way um yeah very might simple. do a little short of that and do the uh, joe plumps the baiting worms the joe plumps <laughs> yeah. way it's a short free up trace. So it's a short free up trace, it's not clipped down in any way. Um, what's what's the main body trace there? That's an 80 pound 80, rig, is it? 80 pound rig body, yeah, just right. for abrasion resistance yeah. and stuff like that. And if I want to put a big lead, as the yeah. rule of thumb, the 10 pound per ounce, it's yeah. only a six ounce because there's not too much yeah. tide. But generally I would use seven ounces of lead. Right. Um, yeah, just to a 20 pound snoods there, just because it's a bit and were they no, amnesia or they are yeah I, I use all sorts of different yeah uh, hook snoods for different things really depending yeah. on what we're doing i put amnesia on today because it's quite a thick line yeah uh being out there is colored water it's yeah deep, and it's a bit graunchy but um if it was a, a bit clearer then it might go to a bit of fluorocarbon um, right but yeah just a simple trace but yeah yeah but there we've only got only allowed lugworm and ragworm today right so quite a simple trace and yeah, yeah hopefully uh keep it out of the rain hopefully we um some fish in a little while. There's a bit of tide starting now, I think. Yeah.